my beloved brethren who hold the priesthood of God. Over the past several months, I've had occasion to ponder the problems and reflect upon the ideals of education in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. As I've studied this subject, my thoughts have been drawn to some lines I read at BYU some 20 years ago. The first of these lines you will think strange as an illustration of my subject of education in the Church. They were written by Thomas Hobbes, the 17th century English political philosopher who wrote in his greatest work, The Leviathan, in describing the nature of man, that the life of man is solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. This is a classic example of the philosophy of man. I'm grateful that my education exposed me to it and to other thoughts like it because my familiarity with these thoughts permitted me to understand the world and its people and its problems. But most of all, I'm grateful that my educational program was such that at the time I was exposed to these thoughts, I was also taught these lines, men are that they might have joy. Remember, the worth of souls is great in the sight of God. The worlds were created by the only begotten of the Father, and the inhabitants thereof are begotten sons and daughters of God. For a wise and glorious purpose thou hast placed me here on earth. They who keep their second estate shall have glory added upon their heads forever and ever. Wherefore, as it is written, they are gods, even the sons of God, wherefore all things are theirs. My personal experience converts me to the wisdom of the educational philosophy that joins spiritual and secular learning. At Brigham Young University and in the other institutions of the church education system, we are concerned with teaching the fundamentals of spiritual and secular knowledge and with bringing those teachings into harmony in the lives of men and women in order to prepare them for a balanced and full life of service to God and fellow man. From this philosophy, I distill four thoughts that I offer this evening for the special attention of the young men of the priesthood. First, rigorous standards and high achievement in any field of learning are not at odds with faith and devotion to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Strive for excellence, use the talents that the Lord has given you, meet and master the learning of man. Second, in approaching any field of learning, remember the Lord's direction to seek learning even by study and also by faith. Your faith will sustain you and give added meaning to your secular studies if you will live to deserve the blessings of God. Third, cherish and nourish your spiritual life. Seek spiritual growth at the same time you are seeking to enlarge your learning in other areas. Nourish your spirit just as regularly as you nourish your body and your mind. Note, neglect study of the gospel and activity in the church during the time that you are engaged in your formal schooling. It is needed then as much or more than at any other time in your life. If you are not in the church school system at BYU, at Ricks, or at Church College of Hawaii, or one of the other church schools, make institute or seminary or home study part of your educational program. Fourth, most of all, live so that you can be guided and taught by the Spirit in all of your activities, including all your efforts to learn and gain an education. Honor your parents, be true to the teachings of the Church, be clean and faithful in all things, be loyal to the leaders of the Church. I am grateful for my membership in this Church. I am proud to hold the priesthood of God. No worldly honor or position can add much to the dignity or beauty or power of the priesthood. I am thankful to my Heavenly Father for the testimony I have of the truthfulness of the gospel. I have measured its requirements by reason and found them satisfying. I have put its precepts into practice and felt their good effects on my life, and I have seen the gospel work good in the lives of others. I have observed miraculous things, but these things follow them that believe. I know that the gospel is true because my Father in heaven has answered my prayers and borne witness to me by the power of the Holy Ghost. I am devoted to the gospel of Jesus Christ. I am loyal to the chosen servants of the Lord, whom I sustain with all my heart. 
I bear this testimony to you and ask your prayers and the blessings of our Heavenly Father upon every teacher and every worker in the church education system that we may meet the great responsibilities we have to him and to the youth of the church. And I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.